We're not done yet. Far from it. You know, when we introduced the iPhone in January, we said it was the best iPod ever. And iPhone owners agree with us. It's incredible with its multi-touch user interface, its incredible album artwork and video. It is the best iPod ever. And people have been asking us and wondering, when are we going to bring this technology to an iPod? Well, the answer to that question is we're going to do it today, and this is what the product looks like. It's called, it's called the iPod Touch. I happen to have one right here. It's just about it's the same size screen as the iPhone, but it's even thinner. It's eight millimeters thin. It's unbelievable. The new iPod Touch. We think it's, it's one of the seven wonders of the world. <laughs> it's just incredible. It features our revolutionary multi-touch interface that you've come to know and love on the iPhone. So let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at its music capabilities. If you've used an iPhone, you'll feel very much at home. It's exactly the same. Five buttons across the bottom, playlist, artists, songs, albums, and more. You can scroll through your artists, as an example, with a flick of your finger. Find one you like, look at all of their albums, pick an album, pick a song, and play it and look at gorgeous album artwork. You turn it into the landscape position, you're in cover flow, you can flick through your entire music collection with your finger, and look at it by album cover art. It's, it's just magical, all on this eight millimeter thin device. Let's look at it for video. Again, you can look at your video, movies, TV shows, podcasts, pick something and watch it. The on-screen controls, tap to get them, tap to get rid of them. And on this gorgeous three and a half inch widescreen display, video looks better than on any other portable device. Same as the iPhone. Gorgeous, gorgeous video. And photos. Just like the iPhone, this is the best way to share photos on a portable device ever. You can flick through your photo library, find photos, and again, you can flick through them, you can pinch them to make them larger or smaller. When you get to a photo that's in landscape, you just rotate your iPhone, and it'll display it in landscape aspect ratio because there's an accelerometer inside that detects that and automatically does the right thing. So that's photos. So let me go ahead and show you the new iPod Touch. Again, slide to unlock. Here we are. And let's go, into, uh, let's go into music. And again, you can see the five buttons at the bottom. Playlists, songs, albums. I'm just going to stick with artists. And again, you can just scroll like this with your finger. It's incredibly nice. And uh, I'm going to go find, uh, oh, let's find Beck's a good one here. And uh, pick an album here. And uh, you know, pick one of his songs. <laughs> And I just flip this around here, see all the songs on the album. Pick another one. Really great. Full on screen controls to change volume here. Go to the next song. I can just tap if I want to shuffle, if I want to repeat songs, if I want to go to a different part of the song, just scrub like this. Real easy. Now I can go to cover flow just by turning the iPod into landscape mode, and it automatically switches to cover flow, and I can browse all my albums by cover flow. It's pretty amazing. I love Bob Dylan. I can just pick a Dylan album and say, Tangled Up in Blue. Early one morning, the 
sun was shining. I was laying in bed. So those of you that are familiar with the iPhone are very familiar with this, but for the millions and millions that aren't yet, this is a revelation in how to enjoy your music. So let's go back and take a look at some video. Let me, uh, you know, I've got some movies and TV shows here, and I've got some uh, music videos and podcasts. I'm going to play Wild Hogs. Again, we play video and landscape. Me, Toby. You're not going to push me around. Look, we agreed on a price, and that's a price I'm going to pay. You got it? And if you don't like it, just walk away. And I'll tell you this, you can kiss your business goodbye. Because if you screw with Woody Stevens, you go down hard. You got that? What? No, money is not a problem. Don't insult me. Don't insult me. Money's never a problem. You just have to honor the correct price. You got that? What? <laughs> Toby, you make me sick. I can't do this many leads for 10 bucks. It'll take. So, you get the idea. And then, let's take a look at photos here. Again, um, you know, just looking at photos, thumbing through them like this, it's, it's great. And let's go into a photo album. Uh, let's pick uh, Becky's birthday. And I can just go like this and, you know, just flick through these photos get to landscape mode again I just turn it there's just never been a better way to share photos with friends on the go it's so nice you know just turn it back boom so that is music video and photos on the new iPod touch it's pretty amazing But there's more. When I showed you the side view of the iPod Touch, I was keeping a secret. I showed you the, the clean side. Let me show you the other side. You see there's something in that upper corner. It's an antenna because we've built in Wi-Fi to the new iPod Touch. And 802.11. B and G for really fast Wi-Fi. Now, some others have done this, and it's failed. Uh, and we, we took a long look at this and think we understand why it failed and think we know what to do to make it successful, where others have failed before us. So what's the problem with adding Wi-Fi? Well, part of the problem is just getting on Wi-Fi itself. When you're at home, you can get on your Wi-Fi network. You might have a password. You need to type a, a code in for your privacy to get on the network. Uh, when you're in the office, you might have a protected network there. You can type in a password and get on the network in, in the office. So you're, you're fine at home. You're maybe fine in the office. But everywhere in between can be challenging. You go to any hotel and to log into their Wi-Fi network, even if it's free, they throw up a web page. Well, Portable devices don't know how to deal with web pages very well. You go to an airport, you're going to see a web page something like this, where you have to log in. Even if you're a member, you have to log in. The thing that really got me was even walking through Stanford University to use their Wi-Fi network, you're given a web page and you have to log in with that web page. If you can't do that, you can't get on most Wi-Fi networks outside of your home and office. And so you could build in the hardware, but you're not going to get the network. And so what are we going to do about that? Well, we're going to add an application to iPod Touch. And the application we're going to add is the Safari web browser. So we're going to add it. We're going to build it right in to iPod Touch. And so what you can do with it is view all those web pages Zoom in, log in to any Wi-Fi network, pretty much, whether it's at the airport or a hotel or Stanford University or anywhere else. But besides that, you get an incredible web browser. As a matter of fact, the best web browser on any mobile platform. And so you can go to any website, the New York Times in this case, flip to landscape and see it in landscape, double click on something and zoom in and pan around with your finger it is the best web browser on any mobile device, and it's built in 
to iPod Touch. In addition to that, you get full Google and Yahoo search built in as well. So you can find anything on the go over that Wi-Fi network that you just logged into with your Safari web browser. So we're very, very excited about this. Safari built into iPod Touch so we can actually use that Wi-Fi network. First time ever on a music player to have a browser like this built in. We didn't want to stop there, though, because we love entertainment. And so what better way to provide even more entertainment than millions of free videos on YouTube? So we're building YouTube in. So you can go to YouTube now and see all your favorite videos, the featured ones, the most popular ones. You can search for any of them and just watch millions of free videos streaming over Wi-Fi to your iPod Touch. It's pretty amazing. The videos are a lot of fun, as you know. And uh, that is now YouTube built in to iPod Touch. And so let me just show you these things right now. Let's go look. <clears throat> so let's go back, and uh, let me show you those icons. Had them hidden here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, go to the New York Times. It's a fun website to go to because it's uh, everybody's very recognizable. And uh, here we are, loading in the New York Times. It's a very complicated web page. And uh, as you see, we can uh, turn sideways and see it in landscape mode here. We can uh, scroll through it if we want to, go back to portrait, and we can zoom in on it. You know, we can go over here if we want, just, you know, boom, and just go through it like this and read it. Double click again, double tap again, excuse me, to go back to the full page. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me show us uh, searching something uh, in uh, Google right here. Let's go ahead and search for, uh, oh, Dylan. I like to, Bob Dylan here. And uh, so let's go ahead and Google Bob Dylan. And, uh, Go to Columbia Records, his website. And here's Bob Dylan's website. Again, I can zoom in on any part of it I want. Let's go read the text and see any part of his website. And here I am on my portable music player, browsing the web over Wi-Fi, going to an artist's website. Pretty amazing. I can go to the multi-page button down here. And uh, let's go get a, a new page. And uh, let's go to a bookmark I have uh, for this really cool app that Facebook wrote uh, that works on the, uh, the iPhone and now the iPod Touch. And uh, so here's all my friends in Facebook. And I can go into any of those. And I've got an inbox right here. And uh, I can see uh, messages that my friends have sent me on Facebook right here over Wi-Fi on my iPod Touch. So we're, we're, we're pretty excited about this. Now let's, uh, let's go into YouTube here. And uh, this is what YouTube looks like. Again, I'm, I've got my featured videos here. And uh, the most viewed videos that I can view by uh, today or this week or all time. Uh, and then I've got some that I've bookmarked here. And here's a fun one that I bookmarked. And let's watch this one. You get the idea. So this gives you a feeling for what Safari and YouTube are like on the new iPod Touch. We've, we've built Wi-Fi in, and we've made it usable. So we're really, really excited about this. On the bottom of the iPod Touch, is the standard iPod 30-pin connector, so it plugs into the iPod ecosystem, like every other iPod. And it's a worldwide product. This is the first touch product 
that Apple is going to ship outside the US. And uh, these are the languages it's localized to. So it's going to be shipping all around the world. <laughs> the battery life is also fantastic. 22 hours of audio playback and five hours of video playback. All in something this thin. It's, it's amazing to me. So, the new iPod Touch. Multi-touch user interface, three and a half inch widescreen display, delivers stunning video and photos, fantastic way to browse your music library with cover flow, find music that you haven't listened to in a while that you still love, it's great. And Wi-Fi with Safari and YouTube and Google and Yahoo search. There's something cool to do with Wi-Fi now, so let's go ahead and build it in. All in an incredibly thin form factor, just eight millimeters thin. So, we're gonna offer the iPod Touch in two configurations. The first is eight gigabytes of storage. The second is 16 gigabytes of storage. Again, how do you fit all this in here? It's amazing. So, eight gigabytes. The price for the new iPod Touch with eight gigabytes of storage, 299. The price with 16 gigabytes of storage, 399. And we're shipping these. Both models will be available in just a few weeks. We're shipping them this month. Plenty of time for the holiday season. So we're very, very excited about the new iPod Touch. We've got an ad that we actually just finished up a rough version of it for this morning. So it's still a little fuzzy and it's not as good as it's going to be. But if you want, I'd love to show it to you now. So let's go ahead and run it. iPod Touch. We're really, really proud of this. And I hope you love it as much as we do. <laughs>